So the other day, I was talking to my cubicle buddy about my klutz books, which here is one of them, and I actually took a picture of all of them, which, here you go. And basically, my entire childhood, I have been obsessed on and off with klutz books, and Klutz books are these books, and most of them come with the tools that you need in the book to do whatever it is that the book is about. And there are a lot of the times like crafting books and stuff like that, but they make other ones that are like for boys or men or whatever. They're definitely for children. But... <laughs> I decided that I'm going to get out my klutz books and do videos of them because I'm a giant child on the inside and I absolutely love doing arts and crafts and I know that children have the tendency to watch kids toys being used on YouTube because my boyfriend's niece watches play-doh videos like all day long. She'll just watch people playing with Play-Doh and just like smushing it and whatever. And so these are like children's books and I really enjoy doing stuff that is described in the books and I really wanted to get out my old Klutz books and so this is giving me an excuse to do just that. So without further ado, here is the old version of the spiral draw book. So basically all you do is just use these little tools and draw spirals with these shapes. So we're going to do that. And whenever I was a little kid, <laughs> I was really weird. And I liked keeping all of my stuff in pristine condition. So, as you can tell, I flipped through this book and there's absolutely nothing actually drawn in it because I did this kind of thing where I did it on separate pieces of paper and these, I'm really not positive what this is. It's one of the things that's in these books, but it's basically like you use not water fast markers and you wet it down. I'm not really sure what the whole concept of it was, but I did not get any spiral drawings on my actual book because I'm the type of person that, like, if I actually did that and I messed it up, I would have probably cried. So, <laughs> we're gonna start with here it is soak art. You're supposed to do it on coffee filters, but I was on vacation whenever I did this, so I didn't have any coffee filters. I used to take these with me on vacation and do them. We're going to make some half-done animals because that sounds like fun. So, let's see. Basically, you just take this thing and you put it over the top of this on any spot on your piece of paper. And you just draw. So to me, this looks like bottom half of a ballerina skirt. So we're going to make it into a ballerina.
Silly Biller. Biller? Mm hmm. Silly Biller. Mm hmm. Feeny is not very happy with us. That's my peacock. Oh, what shall we make now? What shall we make? And you can do a lot of stuff that's just overlapping with these things too. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be perfect. Oh, oh I drew on the table, Ken. That's seriously very good. I'm so scared of you. That's my alien spaceship by the weird galactic thing. Now we're just gonna do a bunch of the spirals on top of each other. That's more fun. Let's see what we can get out of this one. I like the really small little ones because they get a lot more detail and you can do more stuff with them. And it's way easier to start really close to the side of the spiral. And you want to go kind of slow with it because the pin will jump if you don't. You don't want to get in too much of a hurry because otherwise something like that will happen where it will skip. And you'll get scribbles in your spirals. But it's really okay. It's not going to hurt anything. And it's not that bad if you mess it up. They're just fun spirals. It's just a fun thing to do whenever you're bored. And you don't have anything better to do. And 
these are my spiral things from whenever I was little, which I really like them. They're really fun. And these you have to use more like a pencil or something because they don't work very well with the colored. So that was my pink and yellow. And it's basically just little dots and a swirl, and you can just pick any size. So I'm going to do it on the back side, actually. I think we actually used to have three of these, but now we just have the one. Sometimes it takes a lot of patience. There we go. That's my cool little spiral. So, that's basically how you use this clutch book. And if you want to get a clutch book for yourself, they are actually owned by Scholastic Books right now. And so you basically just go on Scholastic and try to find a clutch book that suits you. And they have a new spiral edition, so I would assume it's pretty fun. And they only cost like 20 bucks per thing. They come with all of the tools that you need. This one came with all four of these this and some little gel pens that went in there and they're amazing so i will be doing another clutch book review probably like next week or so so if you have any comments or feedback be sure to put it in the comments below and if you like this video be sure to click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next week bye